So next to bring in the copy and just to show you that on the desktop here, I have the project folder, take a break. If I double click on there, I have a folder called links and within there, we have all the image links required for both the article and the cover and also the text as well. So I'm going to bring in the main body of the text, which is called uh, article copy. It's a Microsoft Word file. So with that in mind, I will go back to InDesign. And then I'm going to lock the images layer so I don't start clicking inside of the blue boxes and then left click on the text layer. And then from here, if I go to file and choose place, I'll then be able to find my way back to the desktop, take a break, links, and there I have copy article. And you need to make sure that the show import options is turned on, click on open. And then from here, I'll leave the defaults active inside of here, which is I can pretty much ignore all of the checkbox at the top. This document from Microsoft Word, at least, doesn't have any of these features at the top. Um, I will leave a use typographer's quotes turned on to get the 66 and 99, the curly quotes. And then I will choose to remove all the typographic formatting from the text and the tables. I'll then click on OK. And so from here, I will hover my cursor just uh, one baseline down from the uh, blue box in here and then left click and let go of the mouse. That will create a text frame that runs to the full width of the column and then runs all the way down to the bottom margin. Uh, from here then, of course, I need to style the text before I thread it because I want to be able to just see how the formatting's working. So I'm going to hover my selection tool over the text frame, double left click, and then of course you can either press Command A or Control A on a PC or indeed go to the edit menu and choose select all text in the current text frame, that means, in this instance. And then I will choose... Um, Minion Pro actually is the one that I found closest to uh, to this. So I'm going to stick with Minion Pro, the default um, font family. Uh, I'll leave it set to regular. I will change the size of the text, though, to 10 points. And then I'm going to set the leading to, um, well, in here it's going to be 11.1. That's how I, a bizarre number, but that's how I found from measuring the whole of the layout up, how to get the correct number of lines and the same amount of margins in this document. And then I'll hit return. Uh, I do need to make sure that it's obviously set to left aligned. There are no space after the paragraphs. And then I will go to um, here, align to baseline grid, which as I've set the leading value to be 11.1 points. The baseline grid is equally set to the same value. So having done that, well, I have my paragraph styles panel up in here, which you can find from window, styles, paragraph styles, if it's not visible on screen. And then in the paragraph styles panel, if I just pull it out in, in, in isolation so you can see it, down to the bottom, hover over the new icon, hold down the alt key and alt and left click, and then I'll call this body. No indent, because um, this will be the starting paragraph. I'm going to create another one afterwards that does include an indentation as well. Um, with that done, I um, think we're all good to go, really. Um, apply style to selection, always really important. And then I'll click OK. So that now is applied to the text. I can hit the escape key on the keyboard. I can then go down to the bottom, left click on the overset text icon there, hover my cursor up here, left click and let go. And that creates a threaded text frame in here. So it connects these two together. Um, then I will click again on the plus click here to create another text frame and just keep working along from the left hand side page all the way across the right hand side page. So I'm going to hold down the space bar to pan now. Again, click on the red plus, come back up here and then left click and let go to create a text frame just there. Again, come down to the bottom and just keep threading this text along until I've run out of text, which is here. Now, I know for a fact that once the images are in here, and the text wrap is applied to the text in here, I am going to need a lot more space. So just to preempt that, I will click on the empty overset text icon down here, and you can build some extra text frames if you need to. So I'm going to left click in here. Once that's done, click on this one, and then finally go back up to here and left click as well. So that should give me enough text containers for all the main body copy in there. Uh, with that done, um, all of these then have no indentation. So this is fine for maybe the first paragraph in here. But um, after that, we do need indentations to match the style guide for uh, take a break. So 
Um, I will hover my cursor over and right click on body no indent and then choose duplicate style and then I'm going to call this body indent like so go down to uh, indents and spacing uh, not the left indent because that will change the entire left edge of the text to have a, a left indentation but it will be the first line indent I'll set that to um, let's go for 4.2 Three, three. If you wanted to stick to, as I have in the other videos, the same leading value, you could do that. I mean, I could type in, in here, 11.1 spacebar PT, and it will then, if I click in any other field, convert that into millimeters. So you could go for that as well. And um, with that done, I'm fairly happy with that. And I'll click OK. Now I will select all the text in the frame here, and I will just temporarily click on body indent to do that and then I'll click back in the first paragraph in here and just choose body no indent so we've got that styled as we need to now of course if you don't like the uh, the the size of the indent you could always hover your cursor over body indent right click and choose edit body indent and then with it applied make sure the preview checkbox is turned on indents and spacing and then you can move this to the side swipe of this value in here you can tap up you could tap down to increase or decrease the space in there but um i got mine pretty much i tend to stick to the leading value for the indent in there but hey you know you can pick wherever you want it's your document um and i'll just click on cancel there i don't need to change the edit but that's how you would uh, alter that so that's the main body copy in here it will be greatly affected by the pull quotes and the images and the text wrap and things afterwards but we've got it in here now the next thing is to put the headings and the subheadings in so the uh, the deck heads